Right, we had a lovely time at Rushton Lakes. Um, we went for a walk. We didn't actually walk right round the lake like we did previously. We just went to the sort of the waterfront and everything. We just had a little walk round there because it was quite breezy, although the sun was out, so it wasn't too bad. Um, just obviously um, watching the weather due to the fact that we had other errands to do. Um, I've got a very tiny mixed haul here, so I'll just go through some of the bits and pieces. Actually, it was fairly quiet. Then again, we was there for when the um, stores opened, and um, last time we went um, a fair time ago, um, the queues, especially for Primark, were horrendous by the time, you know, we'd done, um, been into Primark and... Um, went to the waterfront and everything and some of the climb frames because we had our granddaughter with us previously. And by the time we got back to the car, the queues were horrendous to queue up to get into Primark. Luckily, we went into Primark first. Um, there was just two items I wanted from Primark. That's all I purchased and they were on my list anyway. So we'll start with Primark and um, the first one, was seven pound fifty. I needed a um, new mattress protector for our bed. So this is the anti-allergy um, um, mattress protector in the double. And like I said, it was seven pounds fifty. So I wanted to get this haul done so I can put the new protector on our bed. It's just that the old one I, I've washed it and washed it and washed it, and it just needed to be replaced. Yeah. And the other item was the. Um, Another sheet for our bed, which is the charcoal grey. We've already um, used one, which is on our bed at the moment. So now I've got another one as well. So that was the only two items I got from Primark. Um, the next store I went into, and excuse the rustle, was I went into Flying Tiger. Now, there wasn't anything particular I wanted to um, purchase, but... I hadn't been in for so long, I don't know whether it was beginning of the year or even before Christmas, I can't remember the last time we went in. Um, so we got a couple of items and these are actually Halloween related, um, just for the fact that I actually asked one of the assistants was they closing down and she looked at me gone out and said of course not but it was really weird because they hadn't got an awful lot of stock out there was quite a lot of bare shelving even hubby mentioned this and um, also they had things like valentine's day easter christmas halloween they were just putting out but it could be the fact that um when I asked another assistant, the cashier, she said that it's taken um, three to four weeks to get the stock through. So whether that's what it is, so they're just putting um, existing stock that they got there to just fill the shelves, I don't know. So um, I'm going to show you the items I've got. Excuse the rush, Russell. I do like their um, clear bags, actually. And all the items I got was two for a pound of each um, sort of type. So we start off, first of all, with um, Halloween stickers, and that's these. As I said, everything was two for a pound. So I got the Halloween stickers, um, probably keep some up for my granddaughter, and then use some for my planner for Halloween. Um, just getting a bit ahead because you never know what's going to happen. Something I haven't seen before, and again, I've got two of these, and these are the snack boxes, and that's what they look like with the teeth. Again, sorry for the rustle, and that is the picture there, so you can put little sweets and little goodies in. So these are packs of four, so I've got the eight lots of boxes. Not planning to have a big Halloween party, but... Um, I thought, well, I'll get these bits and pieces in just in case I don't see them again or don't get a chance to go again in the near future. And the next item, again, I've got two of these. Again, it's two for a pound and it's um, four pieces per pack. So the first one is these. They're little um, bags, little cardboard bags to put goodies in again. 
or snacks and these I've got four of the pumpkin and the other one is um what is it a ghost yeah four of the ghosts they did have a cat as well and they might have had I don't know whether it was a witch's hat um but I preferred these two so again so I only really spent three pound on the six items Briefly, I went then into um, Paper Chase and I got um, two items to keep up for Christmas for her granddaughter. Now, these were, were actually quite expensive, um, but it was 30% off, so um, it did bring the cost in down just a fraction. The first one is the book, and this was originally £6 down to £4.20 and has a granddaughter is mad on dinosaurs rather than unicorns and everything at the moment um got the notebook as i said could keep it up for christmas it's got lime paper in with all the dinosaurs so she um so she can um start you know sort of practicing her name and everything and doing little drawings so that's the first one and it's the shape of this dinosaur then on the back cover it's got the back end with the tail so so there is the book the next item i was up and on whether to purchase but i purchased it anyway because i thought would i actually regret not getting it and it is quite expensive it was originally um 12 pounds and this is the dinosaur and i actually paid eight pound 40 which is quite expensive really for a dinosaur um but the difference is for this one is it is actually a pencil case and I'm hoping to put some crayons in there and then get her a dinosaur um, colouring book also to go along with it. So just a few items I've kept, I want to keep up in my gift stash for Christmas and I'm sure she's going to enjoy just playing with that as it is. Rex, his of is her favourite anyway. So that is all I've got on my... Um, mixed mini haul hopefully you've enjoyed um the shots of um, rushton lakes it's a lovely place to visit especially if the weather is um fine and you can actually walk right around that lake um it does take a little while well, it takes me a lot longer um to walk around but i think they say on average about 30 to 40 minutes um but it does take me a lot longer to walk around so hopefully you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching Goodbye.